Not known as a boisterous bunch, scientists left the lab and hit the streets today. Our lawmakers must know and accept that science serves every one of us, every citizen of every nation and society. Around the world, scientists, teachers, researchers and supporters echo that message. From Europe, Asia to as far away as Antarctica, where researchers posted their support on social media. For many Americans, the binding issue is climate change. They fear a president who once called it a hoax, who has undone much of the past administration's work on the issue and threatened to pull out of the Paris Climate Agreement. I'm very concerned that the government is discrediting science and scientific facts uh, with the objective of manipulating us. For others, the worry is Donald Trump's proposed budget, which includes a $5 billion cut to the National Institute for Health. The doctor who helped expose the Flint water crisis says the cause and effect of cuts on medical and health research is obvious. So Flint is what happens when we dismiss science. Flint is what happens when we dismiss experts. Marchers say even Trump's immigration policies hurt science by limiting researchers from certain countries from coming to the U.S. It endangers the uh, ability for our young talent to come here, stay here, work here, and advance uh, science. Jason Demelli and Dennis Topp are Canadian research scientists who remember their battles with the Stephen Harper government. They say Americans need to learn from Canada's recent struggles. The government needs information to be able to serve the people. And if you block the funding for that uh, research, you're not going to be able to serve the people. Today, Trump put out a statement touting the importance of science, but added, we should remember that rigorous science depends not on ideology, but on a spirit of honest inquiry and robust debate. Marchers, though, say some facts aren't up for debate. And while science itself is politically neutral, scientists can't remain silent. Politicians decide whether or not we're going to keep searching for the truth. And if politicians say no, we actually have to make it political and come out and protest. A message scientists out today hope politicians hear loud and clear. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.